Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. Today, <laughs> I'm going to do a video about how to grow YouTube subscribers. <laughs> now, I've been on YouTube for three years. I've had this um, YouTube channel, Sandy Powell. It first started out as a karaoke channel. Then I talked about mental health issues because <laughs> I'm quite uh, adept at um, discussing that since mental illness has like run in my family, I grew up with it, and um, I myself have struggles with borderline personality, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, anxiety attacks, uh, ADHD and <laughs> etc etc so I also included that um, and I'll tell you why I jumped over to the mental health videos and now I'm also doing nature videos but I'm gonna tell you what I've learned in the three years since 2020 um, exactly March 2020 to May 2023 what I've learned how I grew subscribers and and I'm still trying to get monetized. Um, so here's the thing. You have to post a lot of videos. And you have to do it consistently. I post videos every single day. Seven days a week. <laughs> the only time I don't post is um, when I'm on away on vacation. But this year I'm, I'm planning on doing a train vacation a two-day train um, is going to take two days to get to um, Colorado. Um, I'll go into that later. And I and I plan to tape the train ride and the room, um, the private room and all that and etc. Um, so some travel <laughs> videos too. But if you want to grow subscribers, the first thing you have to do is you have to post consistently and often okay I'm not telling you to be crazy like me and post every single day that's a lot of work you know you have to think ahead of time what am I going to talk about today um, and you have to put a nice background and you have to you know look presentable and karaoke I dress up in wigs I make up I have all different costumes if you see my karaoke and that takes all time and then I have to pick a song. I have to make sure there's a karaoke channel that does that song. And then I have to do the song. Sometimes I do it once. Sometimes I do it two or three times. And it sounds terrible. So I do another song. And then I have to edit it. And then I have to market it. And marketing takes all your time. Marketing can take hours a day. But I'm not here to scare you off. I have seen some great people have YouTube channels. And I, and I think like, geez, you know, these people deserve to have more subscribers because their YouTube channel is really good. And some of the content on their YouTube channel is really great, you know. And I'm thinking, you know, if these people wanted to get money out of this, like I do, I want to be monetized. And who doesn't want to earn money, right? <laughs> Especially doing something you absolutely love, right? And that's what the YouTube channel is all about. You've got to find what your niche is. You've got to find what are you really passionate about. And the two, there were two things. I loved karaoke and I loved psychology and talking about and helping people with mental health issues. But now there's a third thing I also love, which is nature. And because it's summer and, and more animals are out, more babies, like baby swans, cygnets are out, and goslings are going to be out. I'm hoping to get a video of those soon. Um, I'll be going on more nature walks and more um, Audubon. I'm an Audubon sub a subscriber now, so um, I have an Audubon card. So I get in all the Audubon sanctuaries for free. And um, when I go there, that's, you know where I will videotape um, animals, animals, nature. Um, I just love it. I love nature. I love animals. And so that's another thing. So now there's three passions I have that I brought to my YouTube channel. Karaoke singing and performing, you know, entertaining. Mental health topics, um, discussing mental health issues. And now nature and animals is a third. 
but I put it all together in one channel because I don't want to lose my subscribers by having several different channels. If I switch over and, and do another channel with just nature, then I'll lose all these people who are interested in my um, karaoke or are interested in my mental health talk. See, if I try to do several um, channels, so I just have one channel and I have all the followers from that one channel. Instead of having several, I haven't grown that. Some people do out there who have like grown in the millions and they make and are millionaires off their YouTube. I, I know, I mean, I follow some of those people who started out with the same thing I have with nothing and they grew into millionaires by their YouTube channel. It, it caught on like wildfire. But anyway, you need to post something obviously things that you're passionate about whatever you're passionate about i don't know what your interest is if it's herbs or um vegetable garden or a flower garden or what or crocheting it could be a gazillion things i don't know your interest find out what are you passionate about i'm sure if you're passionate about that thing other people out there will be passionate about it too post consistently and often you should post like the same time every day, the same days every week, and often. Like I said, posting every day is a little crazy, um, but post at least several times a week, you know. And try to post longer. When I did my karaoke, I was only doing karaoke and a song. How, how long is a song? A song is usually just like um, two to four minutes. I don't even hit five minutes. And I never, and I realized after doing that for years, guess what? I'm never going to get monetized doing karaoke because karaoke is always under five minutes doing one song. And, you know, they're not going to be able to post ads. So I needed to make longer videos where ads could be posted. And that's how I would get monetized. Also, longer videos is more watch time. And that's how you get monetized, by watch time. How long are people watching you? If they're only watching a two-minute karaoke video, I'm not going to get the 4,000 hours I need a year of watch time. But like that autumn video, that was 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So if they're watching 30 minutes and enough people are watching that 30-minute clip, that's going to earn me. My watch time is going to really increase compared to a, a three or four minute karaoke video see what i'm saying so try to do um your videos um a good length of time maybe anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes i'm thinking you know uh at least 10 10 to 20 try to put it in that range i don't think that's too much if you do a 10 to 20 minute video maybe three or four times a week that's not taking too much of your time out. I mean, even if it's just a hobby, like I've made this, my writing and my YouTube videos are really like my full-time job. I, I, I mean, I write, I submit poetry to magazines, I write books for Amazon, and writing a book, let me tell you, that's a full-time job right there. Do you think it's, how many of you have written a book? I've written three dozen books, and it really is a full-time job write it you know and and on top of that i'm doing my my um youtube channel so i'm very i'm busy i'm busy at least seven eight hours a day doing that stuff i wake up at four four thirty in the morning and i'm going to like one o'clock sometimes so it count the hours it's like a full-time job i don't get paid much <laughs> i don't pay nothing from youtube and and I might get some money, but not big money from my books. But anyway, getting back to how you can get more subscribers. You need to post consistently and often about topics that you know you you do are passionate about and you know well, okay? Things you know well. I can't post about um, crocheting because I know nothing about crocheting. I can't um, post about like her herbs or like vegetable gardens or like planting because I don't have a green thumb. I actually kill plants. Like these flowers, I buy flowers like, um, I love flowers. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I love plants and flowers, but I don't have a green thumb. I buy the ones at the supermarket and put them in a vase 
and put them on my table so I can enjoy it. You know, I have fresh flowers on my table, which is my office. My dining room is my office, and I have fresh flowers every day of the week. Always have fresh flowers. So, uh, yeah, try to carve out that time. And then how do you grow? Well, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I, um, LinkedIn, and Reddit. R-E-D-D-I-T, Reddit. I talked about Reddit before. They, um, they're a platform that has many, many groups. And they have a group for everything. They'll have a crochet group. They'll have a karaoke group. And not just one karaoke group. Maybe three or four singing groups. Um, and then you keep posting. That's how you market yourself. It's not easy. Marketing yourself takes a lot of time. If I just went on, right? And did a YouTube video. Put it on you. Put it, you know, you know, download, upload it from Dropbox after it's been edited with a thumbprint, with a nice picture that I took, and put it on my YouTube, um, and then that's it. Hardly anyone would watch it. Do you know something? I have fifteen hundred over almost. I have over fifteen hundred subscribers. And do you know how many subscribers actually watch these videos? Very little. Very, very little I watch it. So how do I chalk up? Like the auto video got over 500, almost 600 views, right? It's not from my subscribers. It's from my marketing. I posted that. I post all my videos all over the internet. <laughs> okay? Reddit, R-E-D-D-I-T. That, you know how many animal groups are on Reddit? Uh, a gazillion, or, you know. On LinkedIn, I posted not just, you know, I posted on all my groups on LinkedIn. So, I'm putting that video everywhere, all over the social media. I'm putting my videos, okay? I'm not just loading up a video on YouTube and hoping my subscribers, my subscribers will watch. Because guess what? I know myself. I have subscribed to, not many, but I've subscribed to um, people's channels. And do I watch it every day? Even people I really admire and think like, wow, that person is great. And I love their videos. I don't watch it because I'm busy, you know. So I might see, oh, they're talking about this subject. I'm really interested in that. And then I watch it. But like... Christina Randall, she does like crime, real um, crime videos about um, what in the news. She does all the famous um, criminal cases. Christine Randall, um, she's like in her thirties. She's a millionaire. This is a girl that went to prison. Okay, I think she was in prison for three years, and she had no money. She had a very hard upbringing, and. There was no famous people or rich people in her life. You know, she's a self-made woman. She made it off of YouTube. I really admire her. I followed her story. I think, kudos. I think she's incredible. And I love her videos. I love, 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 love her videos. Christine Randall, check her out. I'm not trying to promote her. Cause <laughs> but um, when's the last time I saw one of her videos? It's been a while. So what I'm trying to tell you is, your subscribers aren't going to be um, the majority of your views. At least not uh, for me. I mean, if you look at even Christine Randall's, um, like it, she'll have like over a million subscribers and like you'll see 216,000 views on a video. But she has over a million subscribers. You have to take that number into account. See? I have fit over 1,500 subscribers, but I don't get 1,500 views. You know, what do I get? Uh, the Otter video got over 500 views that I did on, when did I post that? Um, not yesterday. But that wasn't from my subscribers, because when I look in the um, YouTube, uh, what is it called? Um, studio, YouTube studio. They will say how many of your subscribers have watched your video. And I'll get like a very small number. 
but yet I'll get over 500 people who saw that video on the otter, but they weren't my subscribers. See what I'm saying? So if I'm just resting on my laurels and waiting for my subscribers to watch, that's never going to happen. I have to market myself, you know? So yeah, so consistent, often do topics that you feel passionate about, that you have knowledge, or you feel that you do well. I don't care if everyone says, you can't crochet. That looks disgusting. If you think that you crochet well, don't listen to anyone. Just do it. Do it. If you feel passionate about it and you think, hey, yeah, you know what? I think I do this pretty well. Or I think I have enough knowledge to do a YouTube video. Just do it. Don't listen. There's going to be, when you do this, you're going to have tons of people who hate you, who are jealous of you. Who do, You know how many people tell me that I'm an old hag, I'm useless, they wish I was dead and that I can't sing, I can't do this, I can't do that. You think I listen to them? Of course not. Of course not. So, find out what you're passionate about. Post consistent. And you know, you don't need expensive um, equipment to do a video. No. I have my phone. That's it. And a tripod, a cheap tripod. I've gone through so many of them. Uh, they're usually like 10 or $20. Hey, that's it. Um, and if you do that and you, you, you find something you're passionate about, post consistently and often and try to make your videos a little bit longer. Like I said, between 10 and 20 minutes. You will get people to subscribe. How easy is it to subscribe to someone? You just click a button. <laughs> You know, I don't even bother unsubscribing. A lot of people do that. It's like, because I'm an artist, I go, you know what? Even if I haven't watched that person, like this one girl I subscribed to, she was an OnlyFans. Um, she was big, into big OnlyFans, like she was an um, extra large woman. And she did OnlyFans, and she had, I just was really, she's from Britain. She had the British accent. And I was, I liked her a lot. You know, she's down to earth and she's really honest. I like those kind of people, down to earth and honest. And she hasn't posted in over a year or something like that. But, um, I, you know, I don't bother unsubscribing because I'm an artist. I go, you know what? Just keep it. Why do I need to hit a button to say unsubscribe? You know? I don't know. I don't do that. As another artist to a fellow artist, you know, even if I don't watch this stuff, I'm not going to unsubscribe. You know, and if I don't watch your stuff, it's probably because I'm very busy myself with my own channel. But you will get those subscribers. I never thought I started out with zero. Everyone starts out with zero. Think about it. Everyone starts out with zero. And then it went to 100 and I went, wow, my first 100. Woo! And then I went to 200 and then 500. And I go, oh my God, I can't believe I'm 500. Then I looked into um, getting monetized. And it said I needed 1,000 subscribers. Now I have over 1,500 subscribers. So I have 500 plus more than I need. I already got the 1,000. I got, that's all you need is 1,000. No more. 1,000. And I got over 500 over that. But now the watch time, ever since I've, you know, done longer videos, I'm getting much, much more watch time. My watch time has really jumped up. And I said, I'm not going to get monetized doing karaoke. There's no way because karaoke videos, like I said, are only two, three, four minutes the most. Where these longer videos um, that I do, mental health videos, nature videos especially that adorable otter oh my god i thought i was so proud of myself that day i was like so proud i was like wow i got a half an hour footage of this otter and i was like and he's being so freaking adorable rolling around with a stick and he's so cute and so you know i felt really proud and i said i want to do more nature videos i and i Oh, yeah. yesterday with the swans, it was like, I was so upset because the swans were far out in the water and my phone can't go, can't zoom in that, that far. It zoomed in 
a little bit. I even went in the water. I gotta tell you, if you're still watching after the 20 mark here, I almost got bitten by a snake when I did, um, when I went to, um, that pond, Hammond Pond. When I was walking in the woods to show those big rocks that people climb, um, I went, I went off into, um, an area uh, off of that off of that path where just to show more of the water and try to look more and see where the swans were and I just stopped the video I just said okay it's Sandy Wiley um, take care as soon as I stop I'm so upset you know why I'm so upset because I shouldn't have stopped the video there if I didn't stop the video I could have got on that video this humongous snake I'm not kidding you this thing is huge, and it was that thick. And I looked down, and there he is. He's slithering like this. Honest to God, a foot from my foot. That's how close. And I had shorts and sandals on. Now, I don't know if he was poisonous. Maybe he wasn't, but if even if he wasn't poisonous, if, you, if I got bitten by a snake bite, you know about the bacteria? I'd have to go. I mean, I haven't had a tetanus shot. I'm well long overdue for a tetanus, but I'd have to go to the ER. If you get bitten by an animal, you don't know. You could get an infection. You could die. Okay? If I had gotten bitten, I would have to be, I'd have to go to the ER right away. And then I wouldn't have seen my son because Sundays I see my special needs son. He comes up for dinner. I'm way, going way off track. But what I'm trying to say is, oh, I wish I hadn't shut that camera off. Because if I could have caught that and shown you that snake, me, uh, yeah. But anyway, so there you have it. I hope I gave you some pointers. Um, you got to start off small and you will grow and you will grow and you grow. But if you do those longer videos, um, because, you know, I, I like to see people get ahead. I really do. I mean, I, I, some of the people have amazing talents um, that I've seen. And I, uh, um, they, uh, they really don't post that much. And I'm going, you know what? Jesus, you know, you have some good stuff. You really should be posting. You, you know, you really should. Um, yeah. When someone does something good, you, you just want to cheer them on. Go, baby, go!